Is there a point in time <laughs> in your early career uh, where you were learning on the fly? What is one thing that propelled you the furthest? Is there is there a gem there for us? Yeah, two. I'll give. I'll go with two things. Uh, and the first is kind of the tactical answer, and it's maybe a little unexpected. It was CSS. I was the first person I knew who learned CSS. Um, I got to be friends with folks in the sort of the the, the burgeoning CSS and, and implementation quirks communities. Uh, CSS Zen Garden was a brand new thing that was happening. It was completely inspiring. I was the one who brought CSS to my company, and it, it kind of completely changed the way that we worked. It was really a painful transition. But that worked. It turned out CSS was a good idea. And I got a lot of credit and credibility from being this really young kid who helped change the way we build things and save time and make more money. Um, so that was a matter of me being passionate about the work I was doing and keeping up with trends in tech and making a bit of a gamble saying, I think this is going to be the way of the future and then being right. And it really worked out for me and well. This was at an ad agency I was working at, so they weren't super interested in technology. This was a means to an end. Um, so sometimes you're just in the right place at the right time, even when it comes to things like technology. Mm. Um, and the other thing that I learned that propelled my career forward is this thing that I, I keep touching on, which is part of empathy, which is being able to tell a story in a in a compelling and brief manner to the audience before you so whether that's in your job interview in a meeting in a doc or a deck that you're writing if it's just you've got an elevator pitch or a couple of them and for different audiences like whatever it is like understand that no one is like no one has time for your bullshit. like make it easy for them to listen to you, make it really easy for them to get excited about the thing that you're saying. Um, avoid communicating just based on instinct and human nature necessarily. Don't self-organize, write stuff down, make a plan. I think, I think at the end of the day, effectiveness and being effective is the most important thing. You can't do that unless you are able to bring people along. There's a lot of things that are required to be effective, but unless you can bring people along and get them excited and, and have them care about what you're doing and you want to do, you, that like shuts the door. You can't really be effective that way. Mm. 